Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a most marvelous day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. And today, I'm going to be very direct. People are talking about Cynthia G, about her channel being demonetized and her other channel being terminated. Some people are rejoicing. Some people seem to be perplexed. Some people seem to have mixed feelings about it. And some people are not saying anything. And I have been thinking about this ever since the word got out. And as an elder in the black American community, I feel it incumbent upon me to say something because Cynthia G and Sister Deborah on the Redirecting channel are two of the reasons why I started my YouTube channel in 2020, but I started watching them in 2017. And this is when she was talking about white supremacy and so forth. I thought she was beautiful, intelligent, funny, but she was also very engaging. And I became very interested in her channel. And I noticed when she made the switch, but before she made the switch, when she was talking black empowerment and uplifting black men, there were still black men that were saying ugly things about her. And it's just like one of the other YouTube creators said, you can't do the right thing with some of these mean-spirited men on social media. The least little thing you say, they're going to attack you and say demeaning and derogatory things about you. They even do that on my channel. But she didn't start out critiquing black men in the way she was doing a few months ago. Now on this channel, what we say is nobody agrees with everything anybody says. And if you do, you need to work on your critical thinking skills. Cynthia G is a gifted content creator. She has the intelligence to go deep into data, as we have seen, and draw some interesting conclusions. That is a gift. Everybody can't do that. Everybody doesn't even have reading comprehension skills. Some people are just getting on here talking and talking about other people. Here's a quote from a former First Lady of the United States, Eleanor Roosevelt. Quote of the day, great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss people. So there are a lot of people on YouTube talking about people. But Cynthia G has a creative mind. Now I'm saying all of that to say I want her to come back to the platform. But I want her to revamp her platform. No, she has not asked me for advice. But I am an elder in the black American community. I'm old enough to be her mother plus. I wouldn't be so presumptuous as to try to give her advice. But I will say that for her to not learn from this experience and grow would be a loss for the black women and the black men on this platform. She did not come to the platform angry and mean-spirited. She did not. But she got caught up with people who were, in my opinion, she, allowed, she got caught up with people who are angry and mean-spirited. And I'm going to say this. She allowed them to drag her down to their level. Sometimes you just have to let people that you don't agree with, you don't particularly like, let them have the last word. I understand the black women on this platform who try to defend the honor of black women by trying to go tit for tat with these angry men, but it's not wise. I was absolutely surprised by the hateful and misogynistic language against black women coming 
from black men that I heard when I came to this platform in 2017. And there are some of my subscribers say it was going on long before then. I would think that most black women don't like it. And a lot of black women just take their platform in the direction that they want it to go and ignore those men. And honestly, that is the best way to go in my opinion. Because this platform can be a mechanism for black people making money. For some people, maybe their main livelihood, but definitely a good side hustle. And you should not allow somebody else's poison to interfere with your ability to improve your life and your livelihood. And I noticed that some of the men were just appalled by the things that she said about the late Kevin Samuels. I would just point out that in 2017, Kevin Samuels was on this platform and he was trying to talk to black men about how to dress, how to comport themselves in the business environment, how to behave in social settings. He was really all about that. He was talking to black men. He was trying to mentor black men. He didn't get anywhere with that. Kevin Samuels was living in Buckhead in a boarding house or an Airbnb or something like that, driving around in a raggedy BMW that was leaking oil. He was not making any money trying to help black men. But in 2021, I believe that when the Your Average at Best video came out and he humiliated the black woman who simply was saying that she wanted a man who was on her level or somebody who could carry his own weight because she was tired of dealing with bums, that's when he blew up and became the darling of the manosphere, the red pill, and other black men that don't like black women. But when he was trying to help black men, they were not paying any attention to what he was saying. So this great love and admiration that many of them had for Kevin Samuels came with condition. Talk about black women, point out everything that's wrong with black women, but don't say anything about black men. Now that's what it seems like. And I'm fair-minded enough to point out that there were black men who did not agree with the things that Kevin Samuels was saying and the manner in which he was saying things. Because it was his delivery that was the problem. Not what he was saying so much, but how he was doing it. The reality is Kevin Samuels did have information that could have been helpful to both black men and black women. One of my sisters listened to him sometime and I asked her, because I stopped listening to him after I, did, after I started my channel. And I said, what do you think about him since everybody was talking about him? She said he's saying the same thing that daddy said. It's just his delivery is different. Unfortunately, Kevin Samuels didn't live and was not given the opportunity to evolve and become an agent for growth and understanding between black men and black women. Fortunately for Cynthia G, she has that opportunity or to do something else that is constructive and helpful to both black women and black men. I do wish for her the best. And I hope that this experience will just be a bump in the road to who she will eventually become. And I want to end with this. This gender war between black men and black women has gotten out of hand. And since nobody else will do it, I am calling for an end to the gender war between black men and black women on social media and wherever else it exists. Okay, thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.